Good morning, my people. Today, I wanna to take you guys through a leg and shoulder workout. I haven't filmed a workout for YouTube in a while, and I just took a half scoop of one of Patricia's pre-workouts, so I'm feeling good and I'm feeling ready. Um, so, I'm gonna take you guys through today's workout. So, we're gonna start with um, a warm-up on the Stairmaster. I'll talk with you guys about what I end up doing, so I'm not really sure what I wanna do yet, but um, that's my game plan, so let's go. But I'm standing in the corner. I see you from across the room. But I know you see me too Everybody's singing oh, oh, oh. Everybody's singing oh, oh, oh. Okay guys, so I want to walk you through my leg and shoulder workout that I did yesterday because I feel like it was really in the zone and I was really pumped and honestly It's like the first time in a long time that I feel like I just went in the gym I was really focused and I just had a really good workout. Okay, so kicking off this workout I did 15 minutes on the Stairmaster. So basically what I did is I did something completely different that I don't normally do I did hit intervals on the Stairmaster, which is it's death you guys it's hard but it's worth it and you feel really good after you get a really good sweat on but basically I did my low level was level 8 or 9 and then my fast level was 16 which it's going to depend on the person so if you can't do 16 that's perfectly okay if you do more than 16 you go girl um, but basically I alternated that so I did um, 30 seconds slow and then 30 seconds fast and then I did that for 15 minutes and I was drenched I was a Sweaty, sweaty mess. Taking off the workout, I did alternating side lunges. So basically, you want to make sure you spread your feet out um, a little past shoulder width because you want to make sure you have enough room to do a low lunge. And I just grabbed 10 pound dumbbells, I put them both up at my shoulders, and I just alternated that. And that was a killer. I was feeling it in my butt like crazy. Um, and I don't know why, but I've always kind of struggled with side lunges. So I love um, incorporating them a little bit more into my routine so I can get better at them. And when you are isolating any um, muscle group, legs, arms, whatever it is, you always want to make sure to do an even number on each side. So I did 20 reps. Moving along, we did goblet jump squats. <laughs> so um, it's like a jump squat, but adding a bit of weight can make it a lot more challenging. So the only difference with this is you're just going to grab a dumbbell, um, place it in both your hands, and jump with it while keeping a nice, slow, controlled movement the whole entire time. The next exercise I did was going to be seated lateral raises. I did this workout yesterday because Cody is like, Brie, you have to try this. Like, it's so much more challenging if you actually sit down because I feel like a lot of times when I go to do like standing lateral raises, I'll kind of like yank it up with my back if I start to get tired. And this movement, you have to just use your shoulders because you're seated, 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 bleh, bleh. you're uh, sitting down and you aren't using your arm, your legs or your back to assist you. Wow, I am. I am butchering this. The next one I did was like a nice little hip burst. So I basically grabbed my resistance band. I purchased mine off Amazon and I did four squats, squat walks. And at the end of that fourth walk, I would jump up and then I would go back the other way and I would kind of just repeat that. So basically I did six reps. So one rep would equal four squat walks to a jump squat. Okay, moving on along, I did rope pull throughs, which I actually haven't done these in forever, but they are great for your glutes and your hamstrings. What you want to do is you're going to grab the rope, place it in between your legs, and you're going to kind of like waddle out. That kind of looks a little funny. Um, and then when you release the rope, you want to make sure that your back's not doing any movement. You want to make sure it's all your legs and butts. You want to make sure your legs are slightly bent. How many times am I going to say make sure? The world may never know, but uh. Yeah, so you are going to feel this in your hamstrings and your glutes, so make sure when you pull back, you're kind of pushing your butt out. It'll feel a little awkward, so you can always like tie a jacket around your waist or just kind of like do it in a corner where no one's at so you feel like no one's staring at you. But this is a killer movement for your glutes and your hamstrings. I really like it and I need to start doing it more. And the last exercise of this workout was going to be a nice little shoulder superset. So it's basically in around the world, but then at the end you're gonna add a shoulder press. So that's just gonna demolish your shoulders. It's gonna make you super tired. And that I did for 10 reps, I believe. I did a less amount of reps because it was such like a double movement um, in my legs, my legs, <laughs> my shoulders were so sore. 
And then at the end of this workout, I did 100 body weight lunges, which I didn't think I could do. I was going back and forth at the gym. I looked like a weirdo. People were looking at me, but I felt so accomplished and my legs were shaking after and I feel like it was a nice little burnout. And that was the end of my workout. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did like this video and you want me to do more like workout videos with commentaries, then please give this video a big old thumbs up. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Bam.